Good morning, it's Friday Live with Dr. JJ from the Adam Care Prayer Corner, reading from 1 Corinthians. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. When we speak of those words, raising from the dead, we look again at the meaning of life and death. And death is not the end of life, it's certainly the beginning. When we see in these words the moment of igniting, of recovering, of discovering the tale and story of who we know and where people have been, people come to community with open wounds and unresolved grief over sometimes a miscarriage, the death of a child, the suicide of a mother, the death of a life partner, beyond the personal experience of death. Instant communications have made almost everyone keenly aware of the vast scale of human tragedies in our local communities in the world. And God truly value physical existence when so many people die of abuse, random violence, genocide, and famine. There is every reason in the world to question, doubt, and disbelieve the life except one. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. Since the resurrection of the body stands at the core of the Christian proclamation, the implications of this belief touch every area of congregational life and ministry. Where do we doubt? What are the questions of life and faith this day? God lift us in our human doubts this day. Take them and remind us of that which I, we can be assured that you're always with us now. Amen.